What's good? We back. Motor City Lions talk. Your boy CJ Goodfellow. Um, back to give immediate reaction to Detroit Lions falling and fumbling away the game against the Minnesota Vikings in a score of 23 to 30. And, um, you know, it was disgusting. Um, you know, it's one thing to get blew out and not be competitive, you know. But it's one thing to, to be competitive and have a ton of opportunities to to beat a team that you already beat this year and kind of gain some ground and be one game behind them in the loss column and be two games up head-to-head with them in a, to win a division when the best quarterback in the division, the best team in the division lost their quarterback, and you can't capitalize on it. And, um, you know, before I get in the, the, the reaction, it just feels like the Lions will never get an NFC North title. That's what it feels like. This year was set up for them to get it. Um, Rodgers was hurt, broken collarbone. Sam Bradford was hurt. Teddy Bridgewater was hurt. So, high, uh, realistically, the Vikings was back to the Dante third string quarterback who hasn't done jack crap in his career in Case Keenum, and somehow he got he got hot. And uh, the loss of Holnoli Nada was big, but, um, you know, it just seems like the Lions won't get over the hump, the winner division. And and I don't think $135 million, a.k.a. Stafford, is going to get it done, man. I'm sorry. I'm just being some real truth and facts right here. Um, it's bleak. Um, it's real bleak. Um, but, you know, early on, Minnesota, you know, did the damn thing. Um, flang and sang that thing all over the field. You know, Keenum making plays. Um, you know, Lions defense was getting, you know, sliced up. Um, but they did bounce back. And it was kind of the offense fought. Um, you know, the fumble by Amir Abdullah, which I'm ready for him to go. He can get cut right now. But from from our understanding is the Lions really, really love him and like him as a person. And we know Lions the Lions love good great character guys and they draft on character guys. Now after having a abundance of guys have, you know, not so good character. So, you know, chances is he'll be back. Probably start next year again. Cause you know the Lions don't have too don't have any they're not a competent franchise put it to you that way but um but it is what it is but you know they march back down um you know Daniel fails you know he dropped a touchdown in the end zone which you know then the Lions act like it was a touchdown I'm pretty sure they had a booth a guy that looked at all the plays in the booth on the Lions side and he could have easily told him like hurry up and snap the ball but they didn't that was four points called back um. They miss uh they uh they miss numerous opportunities in the red zone, you know, with getting field goals and not scoring points and um you know, it's hard. It's hard it's hard to just to break down and just not exp- your head explode off your shoulders, but um you know, just numerous, you know, opportunities missed with kicking field goals and not being able to get into the end zone. And that's that's attributed to the um you know, to no running game. You know, you can't run the ball, man. You, you can't do a lot of things. They can't pick up, you know, shorts, they, short yardage. They can't pick up. They don't have a a, a, a running back that can take it the distance. Um, you know, they, they don't have nothing. They have a couple of they have running backs that's, you know, will be utility running backs on other teams and can do short yardage, you know what I'm saying? And then on top of that, Stafford got his knee rolled up on, on a freak play. Uh, Marvin Jones was a bright spot tonight or today. Um, you know, he dominated Xavier Rose after Xavier Rose dominated him in the first game. And we'll speak on that in one second. But one thing for sure is, is Golden Tate, man. I'm not sure about that guy, man. Um, he just seems to make the the boneheaded plays at the most critical times. You take it back to Arizona. You know, he... Uh, he he didn't finish running the route and then chase the guy down for the pick six. Take it back to Atlanta. His knee touched the ground before he before he scored the ball, you know, according to the reps. Take it back to Pittsburgh. He catches the ball on our way to try to uh, take the lead. He he just runs and fumbles the ball. Take it back today. Critical drive before our last drive we turned over on downs. He uh gets the first down, run backwards and try to get more yards after the catch. I mean, it's just something about that guy I just don't like. You know, I'm just one of the guys that will not resign him next year. Um, you know, and he just keep making boneheaded plays. And then, what, last year? Was it the first year Calvin was gone? He made a lot of dumb plays. He quit. And uh, he's not the type of guy I'm going to pay money to. You know, Stafford throw, threw it down deep in the slot to him today, and he missed him. And, you know, you know, just if, if he I'm, – I'm just frustrated with Golden Tate. 
you know. Um, but, you know, Marvin Jones did a good job today. Kenny Galladay, I think he made a catch or two. He's still trying to work his back. And T.J. Jones did a good job. But, um, you know, it's just the offense is pretty much just what it breaks down to, man, for the offense. Um, running game. Don't have a running game, you know. Um, don't have a running back. Don't have a running scheme. Um, the defense, you know, without Nada, I wouldn't bring Ziggy back. You know, I wouldn't bring none of the linebackers with Jerry Davis back. Secondary, okay, but they need a second corner. Quadre Diggs had one of his first tough games this year. You know, Alan Thien is one of the toughest guys in the slot to, to defend, so I'm not I'm not mad at Quadre Diggs. He's been playing at a high level all year, you know. So, you know, they just got to get some pass rushers. P- potentially, Sue is probably cut and bring Sue back or get somebody to compliment outside Robinson because he's not a, a lead defensive tackle. I mean, get some pass rushers, get some linebackers, and they should be okay. But um, I think the season is over for the Lions as far as making the playoffs. Um, Marvin Jones is getting hot, you know, and, you know, Stafford is not going to thrive. And he's one of the quarterbacks that need a running game. He's not going to thrive until he get a running game. And when the Lions get a running game and he's able to be healthy and have some receivers that can compliment him, it ain't going to be be nothing for the Lions. But congratulations to the Vikings.